Say good morning. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is how a mother of three looks like. <laughs> this is a typical mother of three. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be cooking. Today is Sunday. We didn't go to church. Well, I haven't started going to church fully. Um, we're going to be cooking Sunday rice. Normally, my mom in law brings food for us. <laughs> but today, I said, okay, you know what? I've missed uh, my own cooking. We're all in the kitchen because most times when I like when I cook, I like my children to surround me and help me and at least learn, learn one or two things. So we're all in the kitchen. I'm about to make jollof rice. Um, most of the things that I've been needing for this cooking, this is the weight. Most of the things that I've been needing for this cooking are already prepped. I usually like prep ahead of time, like way way ahead of time. I always have a lot of things prepped and stored in the freezer. That is a tip. Just in case, like you know, you want to start doing that, it's always very, very helpful. Just prep, like I found, um, what do you call it, crayfish. I have vegetables. Maybe it's fine. So I always have a lot of things. Most of the things prepped, like my vegetables. I buy carrots in bulk. I buy um, green pepper in bulk. All those vegetables, I buy them in bulk, and I prep them and I put them in the freezer, so just so that when I want to cook, I don't have to start cutting because that's like one part of cooking that i hate i hate all the prep and i like when everybody everything is prepped i'll now come and start mixing 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 the baby's outfit i'm trying to show you what she's wearing this outfit she got from her auntie is a two-piece and i just it's actually three to six months but maybe it's so big so i said let me just bring it out today and try it so this is what achalu gongwa is looking like this morning achalu gongwa i think she's sleeping but yeah I really love this baby um, baby gear. It's from Fisher Price. I've had this since when I had Camden. This is such a little wine. Say hi, baby. Say hi, baby. Cutie. So this is what her outfit looks like, yeah? It's a two-piece. Back to the cooking. Let me tell you, for the past how many minutes, I've been looking for where to hang this my phone. Please, if you know you sell all these uh, phone hangers, what do they call it? Phone stand or something. Let me know in the comment section or you can send me a DM on Instagram because I need to buy it. I only have the stand for my camera and for some time now I've been vlogging with my phone which is very very convenient. So I need a stand. I need that thing you hang your phone on. I need it because like it's a struggle trying to fix my phone. <laughs> okay so this is the um, frozen vegetables I'm going to be using. This is carrot and this is green pepper back to our cooking i'm going to be using beef and chicken i don't eat chicken i don't know if anybody's like me i don't eat chicken i well i eat chicken but in a, a very precise way if it's roasted i'm very very peppery that's when i can eat chicken but normal chicken of cooking and frying at home i can't eat it so i always have beef i always have to make food with beef just so i can have my own portion of um protein see my chefs all right, Chef Z, say hello. Hello. Chef Cam, say hello. Hello. Kid boy. Kid girl. Oh, Achalugo has slept. You have slept, Mama. I'm so happy for you. You're just a precious baby, enjoying life, living the soft life. Say so all the best and make your money. ground pepper from tropical sun and um, I use this white pepper from spice supreme and of course salt in here is the mixture of um, I mean I know it has thyme leaves written on it but I mixed um, turmeric curry thyme and some other spices so it's sharp mixed spices I always add this to my meat the final thing that's meant to be inside this pot of meat is Maggie <laughs> I don't have Maggie. Like I realize now that I don't have Maggie. Like my Maggie just finished. 
So, but I've told my husband to help me because he's out. I told him to help me buy mangi on his way back. I have not entered this kitchen in a long time and I'm going to these people very soon, the reason why. So yeah, I've told him to help me go buy mangi. The hair under this bonnet, you know, people don't want to see this hair. <laughs> if I open this bonnet, some people will faint. What I have under here is... <laughs> Let's let's just leave it. But I really need to do something about my hair, about my looks generally. Like I need a serious mommy makeover. Somebody send help. So if you remember, like sometime beginning of the year, I had like three domestic staff, and I would say I've not really like been one of those lucky people because truth be told, eh, there is something there is this culture in Nigeria about around domestic staff, like, and I think it's it goes both ways. Um, from the employee and the employer um, perspective some people see domestic being a domestic staff as like a low life kind of work meanwhile in in developed countries you know people actually from nigeria even live here and go and do domestic staff work abroad but they can't do that same kind of work here in nigeria and i think the reason is because one the employers are not willing to pay so much you know um as against the job that this this domestic staff actually offer. Two is that when somebody manages to employ one domestic staff, like they give that person all the whole house chores to do, <laughs> and I feel sometimes is is not fair. Okay, and so that was why that was the mentality I had when beginning of the year. This was around February before I had my baby. I decided, okay, you know what? I'm not going to have one domestic staff or even two. I'm going to have as much as I can get. Not like to fill my house with domestic staff, shall, but I just felt, okay, I needed to break down everybody's job function so that it will uh, make things easier. The job, the job description or whatever, it will make things easier for the staff, right? And so sometime around February, I decided I was going to get at least three domestic staff. I wanted somebody to focus on just cleaning the house, somebody to focus on just cooking, and somebody to focus on just the kids, instead of having one person doing everything. And I will not say I was lucky. I will not even say I will do that again. <laughs> Initially, it was going on well. Everything was going well. I had, it was smooth. Like, I come back from work and my head is, is cool. But along the line, they started having issues amongst themselves. And nobody prepares you for the whole human management when it comes to domestic staff. Today, I'm dealing with these people are fighting. Tomorrow, I'm dealing with these people who conspire against the other person. And they'll come and be telling me that this person is stealing. But it was just a whole, I don't even want to go into that. At some point, the lady that was supposed to be the chef was now like, Madam, like, she will, I will leave for work. She will cook anything she wants to cook, eat anything she wants to eat. And I will not even know. And then when she quarrels with the other people, she will not give them food. <laughs> it was crazy. Like my house was beginning to be like a madhouse. And one by one, I started telling them to, you know what, if you if you're going to give me a headache, please, maybe you can quit and go. And one by one they left. And so I am back to doing my cooking myself. Right now I have one person in my house, but that one person is not doing everything. So for example, cooking, I am back to cooking by myself um my children as well i mean my my first child is going to be eight years this year and um, the other one is going to be six years so why can they not start doing things by themselves so my son basically you know helps out with cooking he has his bath himself he helps out with the baby you know we're beginning to like share chores amongst ourselves and i think right now i'm just going to focus on having just one domestic staff for now I'm looking at getting a second person though, but that's when I resume work. Um, so at, at most, I'll have two people. I wanted to just talk about this thing because, like, nothing prepared. I don't think we talk about it enough. There are people that, yes, they're lucky. They have, they find, you know, very good helps. And they, those people come and know that, okay, this, is, this thing is a job. And there should be that mutual respect. But for some of us, we're not really that lucky, you know, when it comes to having domestic staff and when it comes to having that relationship with your, with your domestic staff. So I wanted to just, you know, quickly talk about it and like give a little update on <laughs> on my journey so far with domestic staff. Like, uh -uh, uh 
mm -mm. it's a whole lot to deal with sometimes when you have a lot of people i'm somebody that also likes my space i like to have my space like let's, let me just wake up and not be jamming somebody you know or muddy let me put it that way and at that time there were a lot of people moving around in my house and i just felt it was just too much um they were misbehaving anyways that's how we are now back to back to back to cooking and funny enough i've actually missed my own cooking like i'm a very picky eater very very picky eater there is a certain way i like to make my meals a certain way i like my meals to taste if it doesn't taste that way i may end up not eating and that's why some people think i don't like food i'm actually a foodie like when okay maybe not like foodie foodie but i love food but i love food prepared in a particular way so i'm enjoying being back in the kitchen i'm enjoying making my meals myself to the taste i want and everything as against when i had someone making the meals for me so that's that it was a short-lived um luxury that i had <laughs> between the months of february to like april or so before i had my baby yeah it was a short-lived luxury that i don't miss really so yeah that's that wanted to just put that out there and you know talk about it Let's go back to our cooking. Our mangeless, mangeless beef. <laughs> so, this beef, I brought it out from the freezer this morning. So, it was blocked. And I'm cooking it blocked like that because I don't have time to wait for it to start, start thawing and melting and everything. I'm cooking it like that. Uh, yeah, that's the state of the beef at the moment. I will still add the maggi when my husband brings it. I'll still add the maggi. Um, for now, let me just be turning it and be separating the ones that have melted this is our rice i think this rice is a lot though i don't know maybe i'll reduce it and put some in the freezer i'm eating my goods here so i'm going to go ahead and put that okay so chicken is now on fire this is not spot my phone camera for me beef has been fried i don't know that part sorry Oh, oh, oh. I'm one of those people that when they're cooking meat, the meat might even finish before the food is ready. That table, I'm their president. I'm on that table very, very well. <laughs> oh, this meat is nice. Chicken is frying. I think set aside this extra chicken and beef stock. I always have extra stock just in case for next time when I have to cook. And I'm not using meat, you know. I always do that. Look at my husband bought um, plantain, so I'm just going to use that same oil and fry the plantain. See, when I'm cooking, mm, I don't like to waste oil. I don't like, like, if I'm to fry meat, yeah, every other thing has to wait. I'll fry the meat, then I'll now use that same oil and now continue the rest of the cooking. If I bring out granola oil that I want to use and cook, I use that and fry the meat and do everything, and now use that and cook. Does that make sense? Hello. Hello, my brother. Happy Sunday. <laughs> We're cooking jello fries and jello for the jet. Again, you must be a saint to fry plantain and not taste it at all. Ha! Oh, so hot. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you okay, guys, this vlogging thing is not easier, to be honest. I'm just going to go ahead and add every other thing. I'll add um, crayfish, spices, and all that, and then mix up the rice and show you the final result, please. TVS don't shine like a sunset. Stacks don't fall like the snow. Private jets don't fly like a shooting star. If you could feel the wind blow When the chandelier shines in the evening Okay, okay. you know what they want to have in the future Okay, you are here, even you can delete Even you can delete You are here watching TV I, I, I still can't come and help you Yes, you helped me my darling They didn't come to help me What are you watching? Guaranteed as we get As the end of saturation on the hill Calling at your will, looking at your bed Beginning last regret Sell the best and make your money Your money is all you know that I forgot to add um, I frozen vegetables 
added that when I was frying the the stew so that everything will cook at once. I just remembered it now and I just brought it out and put it inside the pot. I guess I'll cover the pot and allow it to like thaw inside there. This is the best way to use your frozen vegetable. Don't bring it out and allow it to start melting. It's best to just bring it out and put it inside um, the food immediately and then it cooks from there. Although this one I'm putting it in late. But um, to sit on out nice, it will just take a little bit of time. What are you eating, Zizi? Strawberry. <laughs> See my eyes. This is the eyes of a hungry woman. Everybody is hungry. We've not, we've not had breakfast. I just said, I woke up and I said, okay, you know what? Let's just make jollof fries and everybody will eat the jollof fries. So we didn't have breakfast. Not knowing that this food would take me this long. So we have resorted to eating frozen strawberries <laughs> to quench the hunger. Okay, so I fried today. Yes, this is my big pot of jollof fries. I don't know why jollof fries is looking like fried rice in my eyes. Maybe it's this camera, I don't even know. Or oh, I think it's because I added crayfish. I'm not sure. You know, not talk too much. But yeah, this is the remaining stew. I think what I'll do when I dish the rice and the plantain, I'll now sprinkle the stew on top or something like that. Hi, babies. Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. How is the rice? Come, you didn't chew that rice. Why don't you chew your food before swallowing? You just put food in your mouth and swallow. Chew it properly and then swallow it. Hmm? Okay. How is the rice, Sha? It's sweet. It's sweet. Yeah. This is you enjoying yours. Yeah. Okay. Everybody should remain in grain of rice inside this food, though. inside this plate, though. Eh? So, um, I'm done with the cooking. I'm going to wait for my husband. He just stepped out. He's, he has been stepping out since today. He stepped out to pick one or two things. I wait for him because we used to eat together. I'm going to wait for him and then we eat together and. We'll call it a Sunday. Maybe after that, we'll go and have our Sunday siesta. Baby's already sleeping, lounging. <laughs> so, yeah.